Across the country on this Friday, a spring wave of rising infections. While more than 3 million Americans are being vaccinated every day, hospitals in several states are at or near capacity. Hospitalizations reaching 47,000, the most since March 4th. In Maine, new infections have shot up by 67 percent just over the past two weeks. While in Michigan, frontline health workers are warning the current surge could actually be worse than what they experienced last fall. And now they are experiencing and seeing younger people who are in our ICU beds who are very, very sick and some who are dying. The latest spike comes at a bad time amid a pause in the J&J &J vaccine rollout as the FDA and CDC look at a small number of patients who developed rare blood clots. The CDC also reports a very small number of so-called breakthrough cases, people who contracted COVID despite getting vaccinated. So far, 5,800 known cases, most of them women. 40% involve people over the age of 60. 7% had to be hospitalized. 1%, 74 people, died. Ariel Silver got COVID six weeks after her second vaccine dose. Were you surprised? What was your reaction when you got it despite having had the vaccine? I was very surprised because I thought being fully vaccinated, I would not get it. For two days, I was in bed very sick, just sleeping all day. I had to cancel all my work phone calls. It hit, it hit me hard. For sure. Even though the Pfizer, Moderna, and J&J &J vaccines offer strong protection, experts say no vaccine is 100% effective. Now, Pfizer's CEO says COVID protection probably doesn't last more than a year. All of us, therefore, will probably need booster shots. A likely scenario is that there will be likely a need for a third dose somewhere between 6 and 12 months. Yeah, what we don't know yet is whether we will need booster shots from the same vaccine that we got originally. We'll figure that out over the coming months, I guess. Guys, back to you. And Tom, you mentioned the J&J &J, pause, and we actually have some new poll numbers on how the public feels about that particular vaccine. What do you know? Yeah, confidence in the J&J &J vaccine has kind of taken a hit after the uh, CDC and the FDA hit the pause button. Here are the numbers right now. Before that happened, 52 percent felt pretty good about the J&J &J vaccine. That's now down to 37 percent after the pause. And that's a real concern because they've not stopped the vaccine. They've simply hit the pause button to do more research on it. And they don't want to undermine public confidence in a vaccine that really has proven to be very effective with literally only six to seven cases of these blood clots out of 7 million people. Yeah. All right. Tom Costello for us. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.